You might be starting your day by checking your iPhone. Maybe you're writing emails on your computer or your Mac, or you're listening to your iTunes. They are the legacy of Apple co-founder Steve Jobs. He died four years ago this week. A new movie bearing his name explores his genius and his flaws. We have things to talk about. Like what? Like a million in the first 90 days. Joanna. 20,000 a month look, after that. I'm begging those you. Those are the forecasts. This is my field. I'm begging you to manage expectations out there. I'm fanning We're expectations. We're not going to sell a million in the first 90 days. Everyone, 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 everyone is waiting for the Mac. Maybe. But what happens when they find out that for $24.95, there's nothing you can do with it? Oscar winner Aaron Sorkin is the screenwriter who brought you The Social Network, Moneyball, and The West Wing. He is now teaming up with Oscar winning director Danny Boyle. His movies include Slumdog Millionaire, 127 Hours, and Train Spotting. I'm we are all pleased to have them here. Everybody is yes. fascinated by yes. Yes. Steve Very Jobs. Exciting. Thank so, you. So just tell us exactly the movie you wanted to make sure. and why. Uh, what I didn't want to make was a, a biopic, a typical cradle-to-grave structure where you land on the character's greatest hits uh, along the way. I thought that was familiar to audiences. So instead, uh, uh, the entire movie is just three scenes. All three scenes take place in real time. Real time uh, means that 40 minutes for you in the audience is the same as 40 minutes for the characters on screen. And all three scenes take place in the mo backstage uh, in the moments leading up to one of his big product launches. And, and they were in 1980s, 80s, 1984, 1988, and 1998. Do you feel a bigger responsibility, Danny, when you're writing about a real person, especially a real person that's so well known? Yeah, I mean, I loved the approach that Aaron took was to, rather than, as he said, rather than to try and skim across the whole life, mm -hmm. when facts become absolutely essential, is that we took three, these three occasions, and you can go behind the scenes of an industry, one of the industries that he revolutionized, product, product uh, introductions, product mm -hmm. launches. And, but before you get on stage, you see everything but that moment, really. So it is based on facts, mm -hmm. but it is our version of this extraordinary man. The precursor to this was Walter Isaacson's book, which I know you paid the film mm -hmm. rights for. That book deals a lot in Steve Jobs, less on his personal life. The movie has a lot about his personal life, specifically his relationship with his first daughter. Why that much on the personal life? That's right. That's the, uh, the part that interested me, uh, those conflicts. This isn't really an invention story about inventing the Mac, inventing the iPhone, inventing uh, uh, the iPod. Uh, uh, Steve Jobs was a brilliant and very complicated man uh, who had complicated relationships as he mentioned with his eldest daughter, Lisa, uh, he denied paternity uh, for the first part of his life and uh, uh, they had a, an, un, an unusual uh, uh, relationship after that. Uh, his relationship with his partner Steve Wozniak, with his one-time boss John Scully, uh, uh, with his chief engineer Andy Hertzfeld, and uh, with Kate Winslet's Joanna Hoffman, uh, who was uh, the director of marketing. But does that in some way, I mean, we know that Tim Cook, the current CEO of Apple, as well as Lorraine Jobs, Steve Jobs' late wife, tried to block this, actually went to studios, right, yeah. and tried to block this movie. Yeah. But how was that pressure, Danny? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've got it. When you believe in something, it's, you know, like the guy himself, when you believe in something, you sometimes have to continue that belief um, despite the forces that might be reined against you, you know, the people who don't want you to do it for whatever reason, or the people who don't believe in it, you know. Mm -hmm. When you make your mind up about something, you have to keep faith in it. And this had, when I read it, it this felt true. Yeah, but and it, it, we've talked about this before, uh, but, but the idea that I think they reflect is that you say this is art. This is not journalism, this is not fact, it's art, but they feel that the public doesn't know the difference. And well, the portrait you paint of their husband and former boss mm -hmm. uh, is not, it's not flattering. They, accurate not flattering. or flattering. Well, no, no, it's it's not f flattering. It's it's not inaccurate. It's it, first of all, it's it's. I think it's very important to say that they haven't seen the movie. Um, uh, so whatever portrait they feel we paint, they're guessing at. Did they read the script, uh, Aaron? No, uh, 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 they haven't. Um, uh, the, and uh, they also, I think, are underestimating the audience in terms of being able to tell what's a painting and, and what's a photograph, what's art and what's journalism. The movie announces itself yeah. very quickly. But you're saying uh, you're doing a painting, not a photograph. I'm saying we're doing a painting and not a photograph. Uh, we're not doing a, journal a journalism or a documentary. But on the other hand, you have Steve Wozniak, the co-founder, who says you two got it right, that he found it to be very authentic. Is that validating to you? 
I, I think it is because obviously Steve Wozniak knew him very well, and you can you cannot kind of tell Steve Wozniak to say something. He will he will speak the truth. He wasn't very impressed with our trailer, which he was very clear <laughs> about saying that. Well, thank God he liked the film. Nobody got at him. So yeah. it's a, it's an uncompromising portrait, and and by that I mean that it shows the extraordinary gifts of the man yeah. and some of the flaws as well. We by the way, Seth Rogen is brilliant. Oh, Seth Rogen. Yes, he is. And Kate Winslet. And Kate Winslet. And Michael Fassbender. Fassbender. <laughs> yeah. Michael Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Off the, the performances yeah. are amazing. Daniels is yeah. brilliant. Oh, directing, Catherine Waters and Michael Stolberg. Yeah, the screenwriting, Nora. I mean, the dialogue. I'm glad someone who knows how to do dialogue like that. I'm glad you enjoyed the screen the track and, and the director did interesting things with the screenwriter's work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, let's talk about, I think one of the interesting things about if you've read Steve Jobs with this book, but the idea too that Steve Jobs is not a programmer or a coder. He was really a mass marketeer, a businessman with sort of a incredible drive about what he believed in. Well, I think he was more than that. So he's a synthesizer of extraordinary yes, talents. Right, he, and he, you know, he acknowledged, and, and, and yeah. Seth Rogen points out as Wozniak, that he has none of the individual attributes that you need, like programming and designing, um, engineering, but that he was able to identify the people brilliantly who could do this and actually bring them to a central vision, this one yeah. thing. And like I said, he asked them to believe in something that at the time and the beginning of the film makes this clear. He's asking you to believe in something that we'd no conception of, a friendly computer. Do you remember? They were, they were banks of steel with blue flashing lights on them. Every uh, breakthrough there was in their power was terrifying to us. Yeah. The news was full of, will they take over, you know? And now we take yeah. them to bed with us. Yeah. They're in our pockets. Oh, yes. They're the last thing we look at. They're right here sleep. on the table. Yeah. Yeah, he says to his daughter at the end of the movie, too, I'm going to put music in your pocket, which is that sort of idea. Yeah, that's right. We used to have to carry around the big Walkman. She was and like, we have oh. things that are this small. To the legacy um, that uh, he left is amazing yeah. for all uh, of us. I'll say. It'll be a lasting legacy. Yeah. Uh, uh, thanks very much. Well, <laughs>